the mighty planet Neptune is enthroned in the most remote corners of our solar system. Due to its extraordinary nature, our remote galactic neighbor has repeatedly become the focus of scientific interest. Just what we've learned so far about this celestial body, named after the Roman god of the sea, and what strange spectacles take place in its interior, will now reveal to you. Do you want to receive regular updates on the most breathtaking phenomena in the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space, so you'll never miss one of our videos again. If you like the content of our channel, feel free to show us with a thumbs up. Neptune – Dimensions and Characteristics of the Ice Giant If you traveled from the Earth 2.8 billion miles into space, you'd ultimately land on a gigantic celestial body that trumps the Earth's diameter by about fourfold, coming in at 30,000 miles around. In terms of volume, Neptune outshines our blue home planet even more. In this category, the giant planet has 58 times the value of our terrestrial home. The official discovery of Neptune is dated to the year 1846. At that time, the celestial body was the first planet to be localized with the help of mathematical calculations. From a scientific point of view, Neptune is classified as an ice giant. These are huge celestial bodies, mainly composed of volatile chemical elements like hydrogen, methane, and helium. Besides Neptune, Uranus is the only other ice giant in our solar system. This special chemical composition is also responsible for the fact that Neptune appears to us in a brilliant blue color. To be more precise, this is due to the abundant methane in the planet's atmosphere. In fact, methane naturally comes with the property of absorbing red light and reflecting the blue light spectrum outward. Due to the enormous distance between the Earth and Neptune, the ice giant is the only representative of our superordinate planetary association that we cannot see with the naked eye in the night sky from our earthly home. On average, the distance between Neptune and the Sun is 2.8 billion miles, while our home planet, which is on average about 90 million miles away from the Sun, needs about 365 days to orbit the central host star once, while the same undertaking takes considerably more time in the case of Neptune. In fact, the giant planet needs a whopping 165 years to completely orbit the fixed point of our planetary system. Neptune completed its last revolution around the Sun in 2011, after it had begun this long journey in 1846, just in time for its official discovery. Surprisingly, the days on the giant planet, which are defined by the amount of time a celestial body needs to rotate around its own axis, are much shorter, just 16 hours. History and Everyday Life of the Giant Planet How its position so far from the Sun appears in reality, we would see most clearly if we were on the ice giant around noon, while the Sun is at its zenith above our earthly home during the corresponding period of time and bathes the day in a bright, all-flooding light. At noontime on Neptune, there is only a sparse twilight, about 900 times darker than on Earth. For comparison, while the light rays emitted by the Sun need about 8 minutes before they reach the Earth, it takes a whole 4 hours until they arrive on Neptune. The large distance between the giant planet and the Sun leads not only to marginal light conditions, but also the bitterly cold temperatures that prevail on the ice giant. The average temperature in the upper layers of the celestial body amounts to a frosty negative 360 degrees Fahrenheit. As we have already explained, ice giants are typically composed mainly of volatile chemical compounds. However, this does not apply to Neptune's solid planetary core. Specifically, its core is most likely rocky, with an intrinsic mass roughly equal to the Earth's. At the same time, the center of the planet is probably characterized by a heat of almost 13,000 degrees Fahrenheit and a pressure of 1 million bars. Neptune's core is surrounded by a large structure whose exact nature has not yet been deciphered. It's conceivable that it could be a mantle of rock, ammonia, methane, and water. But the possible existence of a gigantic subglacial ocean has also been discussed in the ranks of experts. Concerning the history of formation, experts agree that Neptune, just like all other representatives of our planetary system, formed about 4.5 billion years ago. 
At that time, gravity whirled up dust and gas that ultimately joined together to form a large celestial body. In all likelihood, however, Neptune formed much closer to the Sun than its modern location would suggest. In fact, the giant planet did not drift into the far reaches of our solar system until 500 million years after its birth. Just like Saturn, Neptune is surrounded by several orbiters. While Saturn is surrounded by a gigantic complex of hundreds of thousands of individual rings, Neptune is surrounded by a much smaller complex of rings. The planet possesses just five known main rings, joined by several ring arcs. The rings have a high content of microscopic dust particles and appear unusually dark. It's likely that these rings once formed from the dust particles that were thrown around when the moons of Neptune were hit by smaller meteorites. Meanwhile, there are at least 14 satellites. Triton, the largest of all of Neptune's moons, has a diameter of about 1,680 miles. The Secrets of Neptune most of the modern knowledge we possess regarding Neptune comes from the data that Voyager 2 sent toward Earth in 1989. In fact, NASA's unmanned spacecraft is still the only man-made object to have approached the ice giant. While the spacecraft was inspecting the planet, it found that Neptune was the site of a huge whirlwind of unimaginable proportions, which was sweeping across the outer layers of Neptune at a rapid speed of almost 1,500 miles per hour. No less astonishing than this galactic storm was the new realization that Neptune is warmer than Uranus, although it's located further away from the Sun. In the following decades, experts were fascinated by the question of what generated the violent winds and what source was heating up the ice giant. Of course, the temperature measurement in the case of gas giants differs clearly from the heat determination on solid planets. Accordingly, it's only possible for researchers to analyze the temperatures in the higher layers of the gaseous celestial bodies, since these are known to have no solid surface structures. What makes Neptune warmer than Uranus, however, is not the formal temperature recorded in its highest layers. In fact, the values measured here for the two planets differ only marginally. The term warmer in this case rather refers to the fact that Neptune emits significantly more heat than it receives from the Sun. Specifically, the ice giant emits twice the amount of heat it receives from the central host star of our planetary system. Scientists have already detected comparable phenomenon on Saturn and Jupiter. Only Uranus stands out surprisingly from this common scheme. From it, the conclusion follows that Uranus possesses, in contrast to its galactic counterparts, no internal heat source, but can avail itself only of the energy which it receives from the Sun. What is going on inside Neptune and Uranus? But what does such a casually expressed galactic heating look like? In the case of Neptune, this internal heat formation is closely interconnected with the natural processes on the giant planet. As soon as Neptune gravitationally contracts a little bit, the energy of the inwardly pressed substances is transformed into thermal energy, which is then transported upward and released. At the same time, the question remains why Uranus does not have such an intrinsic heat-generating mechanism. Experts believe, however, that this was not always the case. In all likelihood, an undefined event in the past caused this process to be inhibited on Uranus when the celestial body was practically tossed on its side. In fact, the experts' observations could be a misleading snapshot that does not reflect the true characteristics of the celestial body. Thus, the heat on such planets might not be emitted evenly, but in time-limited eruptions. Therefore, it's conceivable that Uranus is currently only in a resting phase between two heat eruptions. Another hypothesis explains the differences between Uranus and Neptune with their different ages. According to this hypothesis, the amount of heat emitted by a celestial body is directly related to its age. This would mean in turn that the two planets would be, contrary to the general assumption, different ages. However, it's more likely that the event which once turned Uranus on its side also threw its inner structure into hopeless chaos. During this event, the corresponding heat could have been released much faster than expected. The Origin of Neptune's Storms Finally, we would like to pursue the question of what causes the immense storms on the ice giant. If one follows the explanations of experts, it is above all the volatile nature of the planet to favor such powerful winds. 
There are no solid landscape formations on Neptune, such as hills and mountains, that would weaken the sweeping air currents. For this reason, much stronger storms exist on gas giants than, for instance, on the Earth. Neptune's storms probably have their origin in the deepest layers of the giant planet. There they could be created from the combination of heat and the rotational forces. They then rise to the higher layers, where they race around at speeds of up to 1500 miles per hour. However, the internal heat of the planet cannot be the only factor in the formation of the storms. After all, extremely powerful winds have also been observed on Uranus. Although, it's known that Uranus has no heat source of its own. So, it might also be the condensation of materials such as water that favor the formation of the immense storms. We hope we've excited your interest about Neptune. We're looking forward to your comments. Thanks so much for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.